Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're doing well. By this point, hopefully you'll have seen a couple of other videos where Chops and I went to auctions, and this is kind of everything else that wasn't involved with the £5,000 challenge and some of the cars that I found there. So this is me buying maybe one or two others, but also just looking at the cars and seeing what was happening with the market. And it was me saving Chops' arse. There were some really interesting cars there. There was a couple that James was gonna bid on, but luckily I used my vehicle score checks to kind of ward him off because we found some kind of nasty hidden histories with them. So this video is about an hour long, all the things we were looking at. And on the day that this is coming out, Chops and I, and maybe someone else, are at another auction as well. So there's more videos like this coming. So make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll join you back at Aston Barclay Westbury. Well, this is this um, this is one I was thinking about for Sophie, maybe. So you're bidding on this one, yeah? I might do. I mean, it's. I think it would go for strong money. The retail's on it is only two and a half grand. Uh, if she's doing it, she'll be doing it cheaper than that. And Cat Clean's eighteen hundred quid. So. Cat eighteen hundred on something this old. That's mental. Oh, did you see the corner of this one? This is the kind of thing it's easy to miss if you don't walk right the way around the car, isn't it? Or, it yeah. or on that side of it on the block. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a little, bit of, think a, this little is... bit of a kiss, that one. That, you need a panel for that. So you got one of those hot glue deafness removers. <laughs> <laughs> How many of those you've bought and then found they do absolutely nothing and you end up starting to get painted every time? At least one. Well, yeah. this is on my list here, but... But, but actually, that's, that said, that is the kind of thing every other dealer won't want to touch. That is, yes. Yeah. So I was just about. I started to say I don't want that, but then I was thinking actually, if you've got a good paint shop. Like I got a couple that I use. Now yeah. it's all your um, parking sensors are gone. Yeah, that's correct. On there. So, so what would you? Clip back in. Obviously, the zip tied now. So all your clips are broken. I imagine. You've got a new bump. Your new bump. Yeah, new, new, one, bump, new bumper. bumper. You're a grand in the sort of hour, I reckon. Yeah. I would have said by the time you take down. Yeah, you want it 1500 quid cheaper than it ought to be then, don't you? Just yeah. to make it worth your while waiting around on so it. So it'll be interesting to see what it goes for. What is it, what's it priced at? Cat clean at 3150 Yeah, you want to be getting it for 2 k Because the other thing with these buys as well, is it's not just that you have to do the repair, it's how much longer it takes to turn the car yeah. around. So this will be around for two months. Yeah. You can't drive it and get the work done and have it up for sale. Mm. Can you? I see, I don't mind so much, because I've lucky in this situation where there's Stuff because you're on your own, you know. But I can like you take that over to the paint shop, it goes over there, and then just forget about it for a few weeks. Well, I do, do that now, I do that now. I don't, yeah. I don't do any body work myself now. No, no, I know, but still, it's just one of those things that's in the background, and then yeah. eventually you have got a new piece of stock. The Ibiza over here, that was one I just spotted. So that Volvo would have been right if it was a 2.4, but I don't think it is, is it? It's going to be the two litre diesel, which can have problems, can't it? I wish I could figure out how these lanes actually ever work, I never can. They never really seem to be in any. Diesel, manual, Volvos, you really want automatic, don't you, on a Volvo? This, this, these sell really well for me. These sell really well. 1.6 okay. diesel, though. Don't want a diesel one. Yeah. Oh, no, I say do it right. I, I normally always got a discount, though, because you obviously, that's where we need to set up some kind of collaboration. I'll send you all of my small, kind of... Cheapies. Little shopping trolleys. Yeah. And you can send me your lumpy stuff. We were, it was funny, we were discussing, wasn't it, how well I do with small, cheap stuff and, and how you struggle with it. And yeah. Just sits there and sits there until I have to slash it. I mean, some stuff will come in and fly out, but you'll get something in that should be perfect, like a nice little VW up, even one of those ASG ones. That helps when they're auto-ish. But yeah, they'll just now, sit For there me, the autos need to be cheap as well. I don't sell decent autos very easily. Really? But you don't get asked for a lot of autos. I get asked for a lot of cheap ports. Yeah, yeah. they sub, don't exist though. Sub 5k, I get asked. Yeah, if you oh, I get people asking me that. Like, can you find me an auto for under 2,000 pounds? 2,000 pounds, yeah, no exactly. One uh, yeah, all the time. And if you want a smart car. <laughs> right, what do they Which you don't with? want a smart car. So the next one is a Yeti after that, but I can't find it. Oh, so it starts here and then goes on there. Yeah. They don't mind them. There's certain cars people don't mind mileage on. Certain cars they'll buy them with what, you know, they'll buy these with that miles on. Is it the 1.9, is it? Two litres, sorry. Oh no, I don't think you want this. It's a 1.2 TSI. Oh god, no, run a mile. Yeah. Uh, pop. Don't buy pops, they're slow sellers. In my opinion. You have to upgrade the Bluetooth and you have to put alloys on them, otherwise you sit on them for ages. You sell a few of these, don't you? Yeah. How many of the Blue and Me units have you had to repair? Oh, yeah, yeah. Every single one? Well, the thing to do is, 
if you get these pops, as you pull the stereo out, and there's a fitting in the back you put a cable to, and it gives you the auxiliary input. And that's oh, but what I, we always get is you get the mileage flashing. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then oh, you yeah. Have to, that's the blue and me unit. That so that's the, the yeah, that's the other thing you need to do when we st when they run that one through the block. We need to see it start up and see if there's ghosting on the uh, yeah, dials. Stick your head in yeah. and see because if it's flashing, that will stop the Bluetooth from working. Yeah. It causes other problems as well. I can't think what it does, but it's all from this, and it's 125 quid yeah. or something to send it off. And then again, it's time because it's got to come out, get sent off, and easy you've got to sellers. But if they lounge, everybody wants a lounge or a sport. So I've stopped yeah. doing pops because they just. Yeah. You don't want a manual 318i? It's got a coral red leather. You know, BMWs do absolutely nothing for me. I used to be a strict BMW man, but. No, no, nothing for me. I mean, I drove her in a BMW, so what can I say? But that's a bit beat up, isn't it? That's one for a cheapy lot, isn't it? For instance, in cheap yeah. transport. So what's, what's the story with all these then? That's the ones that are going at the end, isn't it? All the BMW cars. There must be this all. This is the Addison Lee line, I think. Oh, okay. The taxi firm. Oh, so they're all taxi firms. Oh, oh yeah, it is Addison Lee. Yeah. Every time I see Addison Lee, I think of that website. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> remember that scandal that was like a like a I wouldn't know have an affair the website. One, the one where you can have affairs with married people. I yeah. wouldn't know what on earth you're talking about. I'll have to look at my saved passwords and see what the website was. <laughs> what about the Cat N X C60? See, I don't mind Cat N. Yeah, I don't I'm, mind I'd be interested to see what it goes to a certain for, to a certain yeah. price point. It needs to. Um, I mean, that may well be in here just because it's Cat N. It might be mechanically really good, but a dealer doesn't want to sell a Cat N car. So it comes through the auction. That's, he lives in hope that that's the case. So the Dacia Duster Estate was after the, after the that. So where are the Dacia Duster Estate is where it started? Oh, here we are. Which is over there. So 2601 is your Volvo XC60. Category N, insurance loss. Looks like it's got good service history. That'd be a good ride home, wouldn't it? So your cat clean is 6,150. Sorry, what number was it again? Uh, 2601. 2601. It's coming from Dick Lovett. Yeah, that's what, because Dick Lovett won't be doing a cat and car, will they? No. 2601, yeah. Okay, so. Cat clean would be 6,150. How do you work it out when you're thinking about buying a category car? I want to knock 25% to 30% off that. Yeah. Like, um, that. What I would be, so I'm looking at, I'm looking at knocking, um, I want a grand, I want a grand yeah, I would say the that. same. It, I would say category car is, should be two thirds of the value of a straight car. Yeah. I think that's a kind of good, so well, some, some are going to be worth more. If you had something, like four an M4 five. or whatever. That's what I'm saying, 4.5. I haven't asked what the fees are yet, have I? Astronomical. Astronomical. But no, they're not too... Uh, uh, yeah. What's that? Four and a half on that? You probably are going to pay 400 quid. Yes, I need to be at four and a half, don't I, for the fees. But that would be a cheap car for 17 plate. We've got some lack appeal. Yeah, yeah well, you haven't even looked around it properly. Yeah, actually, you know, this is when you get excited, don't you? And don't... <laughs> and don't. This is the thing, you put one thing you've got to learn. do it thing. regularly. This is a, this has had stickers on it before. Or yeah, or, no, they would have had writing on it. So that means oh, okay. that was that just the um, paint right. pens they put on. Rubbish. Is that what yeah, or like you see ones where it's like handbrake Gear, gearboxes stuff. Yeah, yeah. We should actually look round the car, shouldn't we? The body work. There's, yeah, a, bit, there's a bit. Of a, there's quite a crease in there, and that, that panel there. So that'll have to get done. Yeah, that's the final shell. Yeah, post shells are expensive, aren't they? If they're yeah. missing. They're like expensive. Mm -hmm. That's quite a clean car, other than that ding on that side, though, isn't there? What's the engine's it got? I didn't mean look. D5. So that's no, a 2.4, isn't it? That's the 2.4 five cylinder, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a lovely engine. That's to a have. tough engine, yeah, that is a tough engine. I have had problems. The only problem, no, actually I haven't had problems with the engine. I've never had problems with the engine. I've had problems with the gearboxes, but this is a much more modern. Is it manual? I didn't you think. No, that? it's auto. <gasps> Definitely worth having a look at then. This needs to be auto. This in fact my wife will probably have this off me. She's been wanting one of these for a while. Right, so this is definitely one I want to have a little bid on. The question is, if I win like the Fiat 500, do I carry on and wait and bid on this as well? Depends how flush you're feeling, how much stuff you want. I don't know why, but Ford KAs are always way more beat up than Fiat 500s. Do you find? Even though they're the same car, I find more mechanical problems on the KAs mm. than they do on the 500. It's like these get beasted way more. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, actually. I, they're not as loved as much as the KA. If you don't know, a Fiat 500 and a KA, they are the same car, basically down to the interiors and where the gear knob is and window switches and everything. So they're nice and cheap to repair. They always, one thing especially you need to check your boot if you're buying a Fiat 500, I'm just going through here, trying to keep the boot open. Do you get the boot solenoids don't work? No, I've never had a problem with that. Really? No, I've never had a problem with that. I get that all the time. You, it's get, funny you press the button where it's electric and it... Yeah, where well you click there, yeah. Open. Yeah. 
It's funny as hell, people sell the same cars and, and I often list problems that yeah. you've never had before yeah. at all. You don't want one little hybrid or one that you read that See, this will be interesting because this will be really cheap and it's a smart thing. Just very No one's going to touch eco boosts. Risky, moment, yeah, everyone's terrified of them. But I, Fiestas, in my experience, seem to be okay. One point it's when they put them in something like that size, yeah. a one litre yeah. eco boost in a, you know, like a C Max or something. Well, there's a lot of cars like that, isn't there? They say the same thing with the 2.7. Uh, the, uh, the Jaguar 2.7 in the smaller cars is okay, but you put it in the um, you put it in their Discoveries and you put it in their Ranges yeah. and it lun munches itself, does it? Frank, I love them. I've got a real love hate relationship with these. I love them when I want to buy them, and then I hate them once I bought them because yeah. they just always give me problems. That would be good. such a pretty. That's no, that would be a decent buy, but it's is silver. That's the only thing that might hit it hit it slightly being silver. Based on my last experience, again, the first thing you want to check on these is the rear spring pan. Uh, it's, it's good underneath, the rear spring pan's good. You've got to be careful with these though, because if you get it with the wind-up windows, it'll stick with you forever. 112,000 miles. Yeah. Uh, the um, Got half a year's MOT on it. Cap average is 200 pounds. Let me check in the cars I've got, I've got MOTs on, I should mind before I talk about driving Oh yeah, home. but you're going to home, because you're a man that always does MOTs. We do, if it's under six months we'll do them, but otherwise we do a full PDI and a check anyway. But well, I, yeah, mechanics and MOT Yeah, tester. if you're doing that, you're right then, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, that's the thing with me, because I haven't got a, if I'm going to send it down to the boys anyway, they may as well do an MOT. Yeah. Oh, then my mate bought one of these the other day. Yeah, I got one of these actually sat on the fork at the moment, and I thought, this is, this is a car I'd love to see James in, to be quite honest. <laughs> He'd be wearing it. I've, I've driven the, I had a Suzuki Cappuccino at one point. Yeah? Yeah, I had to take the door card and door hand loft to be able to fit in it and drove around with my knee up against the, door, the inside of the door skin. I've got a couple of these now and they're quite quirky. I, I yeah, do like cool them. Little cars. They are and cool we've little done cars. quite well with them. I've got it in my list, but I mean, the most recent one that I've got, we're halfway through making a video on it because we now need to fix it. We bought it, got it back, and we're like, oh, it's got a weird, it was pulling to one side or whatever, put it on the ramp and it had a track rod end gone. And he sort of looked at the back and just grab hold of the coil springs and <laughs> straight on the floor, both of them. Right. But, it's, well, it's cheap enough stuff, but it's quirky, so it's hard to get yeah. hold of when you need I've not heard of any hood problems. Every ones I've known, have always, the hoods have always been all right. Yeah. The roofs. It's a bloody quick roof as well. It literally, um, have you seen one operating? Yeah. It's just straight And over. then you've still got a huge boot as well on them. Yeah. You've got a really big boot. Yeah, you're almost talking me into having a bid on that, but yeah, that'd have an interesting drive around, wouldn't it? This has got a retail of three and a half, which I think is what our other one's up for. Quite long MSE, nine months. How many miles on this one? 44. Oh, I was sending 1.2. My mate had the 1.6 in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, all the ones I've had have been the 1.2 little TCE turbo charge thing. They're quite nippy. This thing here, I did think Golf, and it's a TSI with a DSG gearbox. Oh, yeah. It's That's like the double whammy, isn't it? Only 50,000 miles though, but I did that the other day and I've got one sat down the farm which is a Golf Plus low mileage with a DSG and we've got to take the DSG box out of it to get it fixed. This is the thing about this job, isn't it? It's a bit of a gamble. It is a massive gamble. All these people think you just make money for enough things. Please just see the ones that you're selling and you're making a profit on. This is why I like to walk people around my farm and be like, look, I've lost money on this, I've lost money yeah. on this. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. And then, they, and then if you say that, it's like, well, well, if you didn't make money on it, you wouldn't do it. It's like, you do. Yeah, it's on, just on the law of averages. Is, yeah, it's not. It's not, a, it's not just not having it away it. like you see. Oh, they sell in a heartbeat. They absolutely sell in a heartbeat. This is, oh, this is Devon close. versus Somerset. I mean, we, we do okay with them, though. No, they love them down my way. Love them. It'll be a 1.5 DCI again. 1.6 petrol as well, so oh, there's, there's not a lot to go wrong with a chain driven. They tend to be pretty tough. Again, it's not a lot to like about it, though, is there? The biggest thing is rot right underneath now. Plus two as well, James. Not too bad, is underneath. You do the other side as well, did you? Because it's clean. <laughs> Plus two, so you... Uh, oh, he's got the extra uh, seats as well, yeah. Seven seater. Now that always helps. Yeah, where is that on the list then? Is it all over the place? 209. 209. It's an interesting one because Auto Trader retails 2,800. Cap retail is 3,095. It's very rare it's that way around. I'm trying to find it. Where have I lost it? I've lost it. 2,109, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think you'll get more. I think I, I, I'm pretty confident I would get 3,495 for that. Yeah. Oh, Mark, 106. No, maybe not. Maybe not. What do you reckon? I, I wouldn't want to be in that for more than, really, with the fees, a grand. I'm not going to get it for yeah. £1,000, am I? You won't, though. The problem you find with the auctions on the cheaper stuff, I've already spotted my car. Yeah, I spotted my car too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
is all the competitions for the cheaper stuff. Yeah, I, what do they do though? I don't understand how they make money on them. Well, I just think people are happy to... Before we go and look at our car, we should stop at this because these are, these are pretty solid little cars. Oh, 1.6, no. 1.6. It's just trying to distract me. Look at this. <laughs> look how nice it is. A, bit, a little bit of a couple of rust spots, but... The thing is, you see these up for sale all the time and, and, you, and you just scroll on by them and then for some reason you come to an auction that's there, you're like, oh, should I bid on it? My driver, Josh, has got one. He yeah. bought it one owner, it's 200,000 oh, miles, he bought it for 350 quid. Yeah, a little gear. A little gear. Oh, it, it, like, a oh, bit of machine polish and a, an outro of the bumpers, sponsorship. Yeah, Link yeah. outro. No, I don't get sponsored by that actually. Um, yeah, a bit of a machine polish and to treat the plastics, it could be a cool looking car, couldn't it? The interior Where's is it? actually in really nice condition. His is all like taped up and bits are falling Where off. Where's it and come from, this one? Uh, what did it say? Come from TCB Group. Okay, so that's the car buying group. So it's like it's uh, Aston Barclays We Buy Any Car. So right, let's run a mile then, shall we? Probably because if it'd been tried this, it, how much would they have given for it? Not a lot, would they? Because there's not even a cap retail on it. But why did it go down there as well? So this is the thing with the auctions: is you've got to just look at who's selling the car as well. well does so that mean that a dealer had it and then they trade, put it on through the car buying group? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, behind it, it, behind it's 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 a safe bet. Yeah. Behind you, that will get me home. What, this three litre? No. That's okay, you mean? No. I like these though, they do sound good. Let's take a walk back and have a look at a VW Tram. Right, why was I looking at this? 130,000 miles, retail of 5,000. What's the MOT saying? The MOT till December this year. Cat clean is 3,300, so that's a sort of 1,700 pound margin. These sorts of things are usually good news. It's a manual, so we need to listen whether the flywheel is rattling, because that's definitely an issue with these. Some very dodgy paint there. Is that pan roof? Or? No, it's not. That is, um, that's a chopped garage rattle can special up there, isn't it? Yeah, you've been at this corner as well by the looks of it. <laughs> it's that whole cork pan, that needs paint right the way through there, right the, the way across the top. Well. It's all cracked, so someone's obviously... That's where someone's reversed it into something. Oh, there's a good bit of filler in there as well. I won't pick it out, but quite easily I could. That's a home repair job, I think. Yeah. You <laughs> see, so you could flick that out if you wanted. Well, if you want a cheap runaround, these are things to buy, aren't they? Because no one wants to do the paint. This is the sort they? of thing that would always be popular with us. Yeah. It would need a bit of tightening up. If the flywheel's not rattling like hell. Yeah, that's then... the trouble, isn't it? It's too much. The 2 litre diesel's pretty tough, isn't it? But I just, diesels are moss diesels big time. Really? Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to have a look at my... Uh, Focus ST back here. Oh god. One litre each of these. Sucker for punishment. I, I won't be bidding on these. No. Tell you what, I do love these engines and the sound of it. You ever had one? Oh, no, so I had I had this engine in a Volvo V70. Oh yeah. Sorry, V50. I had a V50 with this engine that everybody told me was like mega, mega rare car. And I didn't really sort of believe them and I put it up for sale and it sold quickly and I thought oh it sold to someone because it's like a mega special you know car turned out the lady just wanted an estate and didn't have a clue what she was buying yeah she didn't know she was buying some like 220 horsepower yeah but fighting. it's funny because Lee at Barham Engines who does the engine rebuilds built rebuilds loads of these 2.5s yeah. and he says in the Volvos you don't have problems he says in the Ford you have problems and he thinks that Ford did something he says that Ford did something different yeah. even though it's the same engine they fiddled around with it a bit Casting heads that always oh, okay. crack I think he said yeah he said they did something because apparently they don't go in the Volvos but they do go in the in the Fords oh, no not the heads the block I think block I had another cracks. one that was a yeah. nightmare I had one of these like this sort of age and the block split and we did a head gasket on it and whatever and it was still leaking and causing problems because the block had split so you're into a whole new engine yeah it was sound interesting because it's got a Miltech exhaust on it look at him spotting stuff like that Miltech exhaust I quite like him I'd like to have one. I don't. I'd like. I like them, but I wouldn't want to own one. I don't think. See, for me, I'd, I'd, I'd just go for the MX-5 instead. You'd have as much fun without any of the hassle. Yeah, until it rusts away. Well, yeah, you've got to. You, you have got to be careful with the rust, haven't you? I've got one. This same age, lovely black with a really nice wheels, and it's sat out my farm for about a year because we need to do some welding on the seals and whatever. Yeah, I don't understand you could sit on cars for quite that long. That's, that's, that that's stresses me out, that does. Stresses me out. I mean, I, on my old classic stuff, I don't mind because you know it's not depreciating. Yeah. But when you can go in and check book on a car and it's dropped by hundreds well, of pounds in just, one month. I've just made a decision to stop doing mechanical work for customers. 
Yes. We're just focusing yeah. on our own stuff. I just had a bit of an epiphany. Like, why am I struggling to that must do be, my own That work? must be more of a bull's ape than, than selling oh, cars pieces, isn't it? Yeah. He's, uh, he's not too bad. He's got some light crust on him. Is it sills, is it? I thought it was the rear subframes in that. Still crunchy. No, that's clean. There you are then. Shall we squeeze me into an MX-5 on the way home? <laughs> you probably have to open the roof just to be able to fit in. <laughs> I might have a cheeky bid on that one. I might have a cheeky bid on that one. I know a chap that'll buy that off me. Nick, you'll buy that off me if, uh, if we have problems. That's the other thing you need to have, a good little black book to get out of cars. You need to know who you can offload a car onto. Two months got, I get people come in, even like local traders come around all the time asking for the bike, saying you offer them something and you might put like 100 quid across it for a little drink out of it and they're like, nah, it needs to be this, it needs to be that. And it's like... No, see, I, see I, I, um, if you're, if, this is the thing that people don't understand. They message me about buying cars trade. The idea of trade is it has to be literally no hassle whatsoever because else you might as well retail it yeah. so if you ask me for a price on a car and this is no disrespect people do but I get people messaging me asking for a price on a trade price on a car and I say X amount and then they start asking the questions does yeah. it have this does it have that it's, does it have uh, the other when you're dealing with a true trader you go what's the mileage what's the eight? what's the registration what's the mileage does it have any history three questions and then they give you a price and you go yes and they come and pick it up and that's yeah, the it's end just, of it. It's yes or no isn't it? It's yes or no. I, it's one thing I always say to um, Sophie when she puts something up that like it spares or repairs or whatever and I just be like well it's, it should be two grand but it needs something probably quite minor put it up for 500 quid and then she'll say oh he's asking this he's asking oh, that and I said no, what you no. need to tell him is the cheap only question you need worse. to ask is when can I pick it up? Yeah. That's it for, for fight, whatever the it is. The trouble with the cheap cars, everyone wants to buy a cheap car that's perfect. So they see it cheap, they bombard you, and you're honest about the faults, and then they want to know everything else about it. They're the hardest cars to sell. Cheap cars are the hardest so cars the to sell. One of the funniest things I've ever had is you, you know, you accidentally list a car, say it should be like 2,000, and you yeah. miss a zero off, and it goes up to 200 quid, and you get someone message you, you take 150. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, are we going to do one of your. We do an MOT check on the Mazda, do you think? On the Mazda? Yeah. Do you, want to do, do, you, do you want to get one of your scores on it? Let's do it. I must look into this stuff, not like that. And the fact that I come in all about small hatchbacks and I'm looking at an MX5. Yeah, well, that's what happens, unfortunately. Yeah. And I haven't even looked at the bodywork yet. I just had a cursory look underneath right, it. Right, so our red is Lima 07. Lima Victor. You got a score of 312. Oh, is that not out of what? Oof, that's, that's, I didn't even the look at the hood. for that, if we look at the bad bits, is over 20 comments on recent MOTs. Really? Two fail comments on recent MOTs. So let's have a look at the MOTs. So on its most recent test, rear brake disc worn, pit or scored, front subframe corroded, front brake hose is like corrosion, rear suspension arm corroded, rear subframe mounting prescribed areas corroded, front brake disc is worn, pit or scored, Brake this people is why you do your corroded, checks. <laughs> offside front service brake binding, rear subframe corroded. What do they say about rust? See, the thing is, even if I get that all wire brushed and coated down, if someone looks at the previous history, yeah, exactly. they don't want, want to go near it, are they? It's, it's a marked car. Should we it? see how cheap that goes and see if other trader hasn't done a check and buy people? Uh, yeah. This is when you see it going cheap through the block and no one else is bidding on it and you're online. And that's you're when you can easily get caught out. I did a video yeah. where I was like, auction mistake to make, and you need to pay attention and do your research. Because the amount of times I've seen a car going through, it seems really cheap. I'm like, what? I'd have a bit of that. That's well cheap. And you put your hand up, and you know, then you realise that the MOT history was awful, or it was dinged on the other side. It was a cat thing. car. So is this a 1.2 or is this a, a EcoBoost? Uh, 1.1 litre EcoBoost. Yeah. How many things with it is? It's like all these things, isn't it? Yes, they can go wrong, but I've actually sold quite a few. Touch wood, yeah. they've been all right. I, I saw something somewhere when I was first buying, like 2 I buy my first car? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy my first one. Do I not? And someone said, if you're getting Fiestas, you're probably going to be okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the first car I ever bought to trade on was a 1.4 Corsa of this generation. Went and bought it from another dealer and I turned up and I had no idea whatsoever. And it was going, and I thought, what's that? Sounds like the head's, he's like, nah, nah, it's just whatever, whatever. I obviously knew what it was, I didn't have a clue. And took it back and yeah. realised that it needed a timing chain. Most now, of them are right, but I, w I wouldn't buy one unless it was a, the limited. The limited, oh, which is no. like an no. unlimited run of them, because they didn't limit them whatsoever. <laughs> they're white with a black roof. And I know the one you're talking wheels. about. They do well. I've got to say, we might be in a chance today, because it is 18 minutes past nine now, and the auction starts at 9.30. Is it really? I can't really see many other traders here. I was looking at I. What's your, what, you don't want to be in old these days. Do you know what, I keep thinking, should I try one? Because I see them kicking around, I think. And it'd be a great little commuter for me to go back and forth to work. That's the same thing I think. I think I, you're saying about the Volvo for your missus, I was thinking for mine. Do yeah. you charge it? Oh, she's like, I hate having to go to the petrol station and whatever. Yeah, they never want to fill it up, do they? I had a Leaf Rover before, but the range was awful. Yeah, it usually is the renown for it, aren't In they? the winter, you should get about 60 miles, which should do her. But this has got a leased battery, and you can't take it until you've got a signed document to say that you've taken over the lease yeah, and all that, that sort of thing stuff. Yeah, that thing confuses me. It yeah, it confuses me. I just feel like, I'm like... What's the score with that? I don't know how that... Oh, and a bath. I've always wanted to try in a bath. Yeah, I've got I've two at the it. moment, so this one's all yours. Have you? Yeah. Are they any good? Do In they, what sense? Like, fun to drive? Because I had a... Yeah, they are fun, yeah. Um, I had a Fiat Strada 130 a bath when I was... Like, I think 20. you like them. There's one of those things where you've got to work them, but they are, like, nippy and... You know, yeah, like, like, angry little hornet type thing. Tell you what, we'll go quite cheap. We probably would get you home as a petrol yeah. CRV, but it is a petrol, so tax on that would be four hundred quid. Yeah, and that what is enough for anyone else. I always do find that comment strange when people say, that, you know, you'll put a car up and I go, the tax is £600. It's like, yeah, the tax is the tax. You have to yeah, pay the yeah. tax. You know, you don't look at that vehicle. If you want £30 road tax, buy a Hyundai i10. If you've got a two-ton Range Rover with a 3.8 V8 in it, why do you think it's going to be £30 road tax? I don't know. Yeah. And over the course of a year, you spread it out monthly, it's costing you 30 or 40 quid more a month. Is it really that, that different? But you're absolutely right. This, 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 these always go well for me, actually. And to be honest, if you're running around locally, you are better with the petrol than the diesel, aren't you? Well, yeah, you know, rather than your DPF clogging up and giving you a DPF problem. And the MPG difference is marginal as well. I've looked it up, and there isn't really a lot in the um, in the MPG on it either. These can get a bit crusty underneath as well, can't they? Yeah, in fact, I've got one at the moment. It is a petrol as well. That's a bit oh. rust, crusty underneath. It's got a tow bar on the back, so it's clearly been beasted. That's oh, the only yeah. thing people say, isn't it? It's, uh, what has it been coming? It, it, you know, it could have been coming one of those tiny little things with the clippings from the garden on it for all you know, couldn't it? Yeah. Tyres are as bold as you like. Oh yeah. And a bit of paint to do, a bit of repair to do there on the front corner. That bumper's all out of line all the way yeah. along here. This, I think it would go relatively cheap. But again, if you've got a bold tyre, you don't want to be driving it back. But that's not something I want. I don't want the petrols. I would rather have the 2.2s. I just not necessarily for me personally, but I just know what will sell easier. You yeah, don't like the diesel so much, but for us, it's no, weird because we're close to the Bristol where you've got to pay the, the £10 diesel. a day or whatever. The diesels are popular with the 4x4s, four, the four aren't they? Anyway, this has got a very nice interior. Has not had one with like red leather before. I hate this. When people do this. They got an, an R bar seems to really attract it. Someone might tell me that that's original, but I doubt it. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I remember we came here before and there was an R bar and there were stickers on the wing mirrors, there were stickers on every I don't wing. Like the roof either. I mean, what they'll do is they'll oh, go through here and they'll start them all up, ready to go through to make sure that they You got a, a brace of cash cows here. But have you noticed the whites go chalky like this? You have to spend a whole day machine polishing them. See how flat yeah, that white is? Yeah. They all do it. Uh, 1.6 CVT now. I don't you know. don't notice it so much until you get to one part that is shiny and you realise that that's flat as like you like. Matte, like. It's satin. I thought firstly I bought a car that had been had a really bad respray, but now I've had three or four of them that colour and then they all do it. This is the um, CVT gearbox, so that's quite risky, isn't it? The mm. Nissan CVT. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. Oh, wow. This is actually Mrs. Chops would want this. Yeah. She loved her Volvo and she wants one with cream leather. It's the... It's a manual. How do you feel about that? No, ideally it would be auto. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, auto. it's a safer bet, I think. Yeah. Being manual and one of these, but... This will sell down my way, no problem at all. It doesn't say what's, what size is the engine on it. Is it the 2.4 or the 2 litre? 
It's the E drive, the drive E, is that the 1.6? 115, yeah, that's the 1.6. They're low road tracks, aren't they? That's a nice looking car. She does drive manual at the moment, actually. But our last one with the 2.4 in did 260,000 miles, and that didn't even die at that age. Come from City Motors, a Volvo specialist. So he knows it's broken, it he knows it's broken then. <laughs> and it's, it's again, it's another main car co one. main dealer trade in. Listen out for flywheel, probably again on this, I reckon. Sorry? Listen out for the flywheel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, MOT 7th 24. What number is that one? 2307. It's another contender for me. It's going to be quite good money, though, isn't it? It's hardly the small little runabout I was looking to take back either. Talking myself out of it. Well, one series, they're nice and reliable. Just don't like BMWs. Don't know why. I've got no real reason for it either. Especially when it's you know it's actually getting me home today. I'll tell you what, I think I might have discounted this. I don't know, maybe it's damaged or something. But I think these are good to use. Little white two and sevens with the the Minisim or whatever they are. Yeah, this one's a special. 1.6 VTI. No service history. It's only got a couple of months MOT. I still think they're quite they're modern cheap car. car. They're cheap cars, aren't they? They don't go for a lot of money, do they? Are they starting to put stuff through? Uh, it won't be just yet. You'll hear them go, all right then. We didn't look at the high-end i10 automatic, i30 automatic over there. I think that was an automatic. I had one this colour and this spec. Yeah. I put up for sale the other day and my phone rang off the hook. There's the ignis. It's actually really clean. I know we were yeah, joking about it. Yeah, it did look it. really clean, yeah. Unfortunately, you want to be by the car you're interested in when you start it up, but it's difficult to judge which one of them start Yeah, you need to sort of... It's a tricky job. Did I have this in the list for Sophie? 2415. No, I didn't. Hmm, got a long here. Got some wheel trims. Clutch will probably be sniffing. Got someone else's paint on the... Uh, Quite straight, really. Oh, it's got no windscreen wiper. Oh, he's on the duster. <coughs> I'm interested to see what James' bidding technique is going to be. You know, we've got the, the head nod, the hand up, the, well, the wave, I don't, I don't the elbow. A, I, don't, I don't have a number. Have you got a number, have you? Yeah, so you just write it on the back if you want. We'll just go and tell him. So I'm bidding on his account, so I can run a mile. Yeah, I'm going to get stuck with all the bucks. I'm going to get bidding mad. I'm just saying I'm going to be interested to, uh, yeah, so the, the Ignis has got no MOT. Is it out, is it? Yeah. So I can't buy that one then? Yep. It's not going to be a good one to get you home, unless you're planning to do it on the back of the recovery truck. That one would be a good buy for me. Yeah. That, 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 that would sell well. Um, it is from a buying group. That's the only thing. It's not from a main dealer on me. To be honest, a lot of what I buy comes from UK CBR, and a lot of people say you've got to avoid it, like, doesn't it? But, He's a whole rear fucking paint up, isn't it? I reckon that's the sort of thing where you could touch that in. There was a lot of scratches and dogs jumping in. That's an actually the work out, isn't it? Stinking a dog. Stinking a dog is a dog in it. Is it stinking a diesel? That's the other thing. Well, diesel it is a bit diesel but then it is a little 1.5. Yeah. And it's probably been potting around the town, isn't it? It probably wants a good rag back down to Devon. Yeah, or an injector leaking. Yeah, it could be that. If you want to be negative about it. There's a lot of decent stuff to bid on here. There's a lot of decent stuff, isn't there? Yeah, I do like the... One thing, I was interested in that Tornio as well, actually. Yeah, my wife's always fancy one of those as well. Where's it come from? It come from Wilson, so a uh, dealer. You'd think you'd retail something like that, wouldn't you? I think it's slightly higher mileage. Oh, it's, it's 82,000. How many miles? 82,314. Try new. Now that my MOT centre and things aren't going ahead, I want to start stocking a few commercials. So I've just got a really nice 18 plate Bilingo in. It's a lovely thing. And this was the sort of thing that would go well with that. What's your thoughts on Vauxhall Adams? Oh, you've got a. Oh. He's got one going for raffle at the moment, haven't you? Yeah, I have, yeah, they're great. Yeah. <laughs> they're brilliant. No, I mean, they're right. The 1.4 is all right. I wouldn't have a 1.2. 1.4 is 
one point four should go right. They're cheap, aren't they? What they are. Yeah, they are. I mean, mine's, two thousand, mine's two thousand sixteen, and I think its retail value was six grand, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that one there's a seventeen on twenty four thousand miles, and it's eight thousand four hundred. Uh, Connect's not an expensive car, is it really? Okay. What this Tawny, I think. Yeah. No. One point five. I quite, I like, saw the, it I quite first. like the one point five diesel. What you, you're keen <laughs> I, on that one? I was just saying to him, I saw it first. Oh, okay. I'm just, no, I'm joking. <laughs> it's a bit meaty for me. It's not something I would normally retail either. I don't think it's one for me, to be honest. I almost forgot that how to get on the stage. I don't know why. I'd say 50% of the cars here don't have aerials on it. No. They might have gone through a car wash. Sometimes you'll find them in the booth. They take them off maybe to go through the car wash. It sounds like they're picking up. The white one, the old one night. Does it have an MOT on it? Yeah, two months. Here we come, you're gonna go and listen to it, it's started up. See where it goes. sold to a car buying thing. It's cool though, isn't it? Yeah, listen to this. Not because I want to buy it, just because it would be... Everyone knows my history with Audi Q7s. But just because it would be interesting to uh, see what it makes. What is it? 119,000 miles, you absolutely reeks of diesel. Well, like acrid diesel smoke. Retail on that apparently is 8,259. Gonna be pop oh, wait, either it's going to tank because it's a premium car and no one wants it but you can see people are already looking around it because it looks a lot of oh, 200 see, see what it does 
Well, that two big boy on line three on line. What are you thinking about? 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 What are you Oh, I'm all right across that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I can't believe I didn't buy that um, X5, uh, that Air X5, but bought that GS. <laughs> the corrosion. <laughs> Genius, isn't it? Of water out that. Blow the valves out of it. Joe, the amount of water coming out the back of this is yours. Yeah, yeah shit ton of water. And I'm burnt oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What does that mean? Cool deactivated. It's got a warning light on the dashboard, so it's cool oh, deactivated. Yeah. deactivated. See, because that eye is a warning light on those. See what the yeah, uh, warnings yeah. are. I, mean, it's, uh, I would drive it because it's a bunch of rear belt shoes, something like that. Yeah. 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 It's about halfway. Yeah, it's about halfway. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that's fine. Do you think maybe it's the phone or the like on star? Yeah, thing? yeah. I think the eye is okay because I think it's yeah, got a bit of an engine also, light. It's got two things. One of them, the rear belts are in use or whatever. If you were bidding online now, you wouldn't have a clue about the problem that had started, would you? No. Let's get in. Let's watch him buy more cars while I. Don't. Right. Retail is seven on the Volvo. So if I could get it four, between four and four and a half. Yeah, the drive home and out of the jazz. Yeah, understandably. Still, I'm still not checking m regardless of the fact I've just been burnt so bad. I know. I'm just checking them for you because I'm worried you're not being ejected. My wife's not So if you get this your jazz right after as well, the one that you... I don't even need stop. I don't know. <laughs> Not a bad influence. <laughs> The retail on that is six nine six. That's before fees. Five five so you've got about 1,500 quid to have to work for, aren't you? Well, you're not. You're going to be... You've got 500 quid. It's easy, isn't you? Yeah. Well, it's probably a five grand. Five, seven, seven and a half. You've got 1,500 quid. But you've got to take your VAT, your potential any prep out of it. I think you've got 1,000 across it. So do you think... See, that's an interesting one. I don't think anybody really... I like the guy. I don't think anybody really... Yeah, I mean, we walk past it and I ask him to say, should we have a look at this? And that's how much we want at that top of that. Should we see? So we've got, the, we've got two more locks before the Yaris comes up. And the Yaris was the one that had no compression. And then when they finally got it started, shot loads of water out of the back of it. We'll be interested to see what that goes through. Yeah, I bet you it'll all be online, mate. What did any, did they get? Yeah, they'll all be online with that one. Oh, I've got my Hyundai i10 them as well. Oh, here's them again. I don't reckon that's going to do a lot. I don't think people are going to do a lot. It's not what it's going to do. It's probably going to be you have to change the yeah. yeah. I've only got a month's MOT. Well, oh, is it? Two months. Right, How's it doing? Have you got this I30 and I10 on your list? I've got the I10. Oh, is the I30 the one with the Denver's wings? The one six auto, seventy thousand miles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that one. Yeah. 
I didn't see that dinged up um, my 30 come through. I missed that, or is it not coming through yet? That actually it's runs quite nicely now, it's actually quite good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someone's taken it for a flood or something. I reckon they have, they've flooded the engine. Because I've never seen that much water come out of these other than the flooded car. Well, that or the block's cracked and it's coming out of the cooling tank. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you I mean, to be honest, maybe it will be okay to play the water out of it. Go on, Joe, ask if the clutch is okay. Huh? Ask if the clutch is okay. Are you alright? The clutch is okay. I won't get you on camera, don't worry. Oh, no. I told Joe to ask the lady what the uh, clutch feels like on an auto. Oh, that's getting all the money, that is. That's getting all the money. That's got six grand retail, that is. So you've got 1,500 quid in it for four fees. You don't see it myself. Mind you, you don't need to do anything to it, I guess. But you're only making 500 quid on a six grand car. He's not going to leave me anything to bid on. Days and things I want so she's going to kill me. I just spotted someone's got a massive OCD screen in that item. Someone's got a massive screen Yeah, massive. Like oh, really? <laughs> Not always a good sign. No. I like these though, it's really, they sound awesome. The AMG is supposed to be amazing. It's one of Clarkson's oh, favourite cars, isn't it? Oh look, they're trying to see this road. Check the roof. Uh, it's a cheap car really, isn't it? That was a cheap car. This is what I find sometimes you go to auctions, because obviously it was empty here first, but once it gets busy, it's the auction stuff. Mm -hmm. well, 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 I well, well, take a bit of a gamble. I see that much. Is it cat and cat and cat? That's the good one to buy. 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 Five is the salt, 29. Yeah, it should be seven. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't mind it. Got to be under five. Yeah, got to be under five when you can't tell it. To retail it. We've got our wind coming in. Yeah. Do you want, I'm not sure I want a second one at the moment. You don't want second win? <laughs> I could do with a second win, to be fair, yeah. If somebody gets tempted into buying something you shouldn't buy, DSG, TSI, but it's a lot of money in it. If you've got balls, it's a lot of money in it. In what? In this TSI, DSG, Gold. Because eight and a half grand now. Yeah, it's not. You've still got a 3k margin in it. That's enough to do a box. Oh yeah, if, yeah, you could buy yourself out of a problem with it. Yeah. Strange that thing there for more, really. Oh, it looks like it might be cheaper. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought that was stalling, but it wasn't. It's still, it's still still like still like to start with two after <laughs> I like to start with two after. Yeah. yeah, so do we. Uh, 
soon disappears, doesn't it? Unfortunately. I do around right Cougars. Yeah, Cougars are good news, but they're quite a few of them recently. But see, this is where I started bidding on stuff I never looked at out there. MOT expires 20, win 24. Senior moment. Sounds like a bag of Yeah. Dual mass Okay, it's down to 500 now, is it? It's a cheap car. So you're bidding on a dual mass flywheel rattling. We did a great example for everyone here, aren't we? It is. If you're doing it as like a trade thing, people still won't mind if it drives. You woke everybody up a bit on that. Here comes your XC60. No, that is the one, it's the D4. It's the automatic, it's got a D4 engine. No, that's not it. That's what I thought, that's that one there though. That's 17 plate, the other one was a 12. How was it? Well, that's got a good margin in it, isn't it? 12995 retail, 89. Oh, it's about James will tell me those 1.2 engines, the Dig T engines are bad news. What's that? You just bought that, did you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Let's go and have a look at the 5 series. Oh, here it is, and we regret saying that. Oh, no. I just want to see how tawny though. More and more people are getting this sort of thing as like their family car. Get a van because they drive so good, they drive like a car. We've got all the uh, space, all the seats, all the storage. Yeah. There's a reverse camera. Yeah. Two feet away from the rear window. It helps we're going to have a quick look. <coughs> I tried to put this through Auto Trader last night, I think, and I couldn't get a retail price on it. See if we can look up some others and see what they're going for. 11 and a half grand Novat, that's on more miles. The rest are all adapted. So their cap is probably conservative, cap retail of nine and a half, it's probably more than that. Especially it's not a VAT car either, so it's no VAT on it. Kawasaki Z900, it's like a remake of the older bike. My god, they seriously need to get some uh, lube on that chain though. That's quite impressive. 
See if we can get that bought for me. Get that bought for James. Little Vespa. <laughs> He'd look good on that. Yeah, I did have this in my list because it's a nice looking thing. I think I've spent enough today. This is uh, 2530 Incredibly cheap if you want one. I think the lease might be like, I think it's like 80 quid a month or something like that, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there we are. That's three, and you got your Tornado over there you bought as well. Got my Tornado, and I also got a Cash Guy as well. Oh, yeah, the 1.2 Cash Guy. I haven't seen my lease before. My wife wants one of these. Yeah. I'll do you a good deal. Can I swap it for a Swift, a Jazz, and a and a, 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 a D500? I don't know how many problems those cars have. <laughs> that's actually quite tidy, isn't it? Yeah, it wants a good valet, but yeah, that's what she wants—the big old boot for the dog. I don't think you really a bit of a polish. And There's a, a bit valet. of a scuff round here on the offside front, I think. But if we've got to pay hundred quid to get a bumper corner blown in. There, yeah, which you probably to, will do. It's going to do quite a deep machine polish for some of this stuff here, but yeah. it's going to look nice, isn't it? Do you know what Nick can really do with a set of alloys? Can it? Can't put money it into would, it. Right, it would help it, but oh, yeah. no, I think if we just go, yet. I would I would paint these steel wheels black. Black, yeah. And, and then put the trims back on. Sometimes I'll paint the trims as well, but these actually are all right. So that just your... freshens it up, doesn't it? Cash guy, do you want to put it? Cash guy. Uh, this was it, I think. Should be good news. Yeah, that'll be good news. Because we know 1.2, so it should be cheap tax. It's a Tecna, so it's decent spec. Yeah, yeah, nice Car leather. shop, but. Yeah, nice leather, nice spec. Heated seats, and it'll. Has it got the 360 camera malarkey on it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that's that's just stable retail stuff all day long. Yeah, it's good. Good for might, might get a bit of finance out of it as well. Yeah. So there we are, we've managed to buy, we both bought three, didn't we? So now I've got to drive one home. Yeah, which way you get one? I'm going to get my Range Rover recovered. Um, so I'm down the recovery on the Range Rover. That's that's idea, isn't it? And then I've got to get these back as well from here. You've got to spend home. a bit of fuel on setting fire to the Jazz. We haven't even listened to the Jazz, have we? But yeah. yeah. Right, so there you have it. That was pretty much everything that was chopped out of that video from the other stuff. And as I said, there is more videos like this coming because we're at another auction this very day as you're watching this, or as it comes out at least. Don't forget, you can win my Mercedes SL500. It's a five litre V8 convertible monster, and you can win it for just two pounds. The link will be in the description. We've got just over a week to go with about half the tickets left to sell. So make sure you get down there. Got to be in it to win it. It's an awesome car. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.